Okay, so this is what we have so far. It's time to find out what's actually in that present. And the answer is a shiny new axe. When I select all max controls, um, I don't want to move it that way. Right? If I do that, I get this. Right? And that's because I'm moving this control, this control, this control, and this control all at the same time. Right? I want to just grab the bottom placement control, and I want to drag this over here and just sort of very strategically put this axe inside of the box. Right? Um, most of my animation for this is going to be rotation based. I'm going back to frame zero here at the beginning of this. And so most of my animation is going to be rotation based because as you'll see, like that's how this axe would move, right? It's going to chop, chop, chop. And if I wanted it to bend, that's a rotation as well, right? All of the head is a rotation. And so that is how I, I want this to move. So I'm going to get us a starting position here. I'm going to get this in the box. Um, and I'm probably going to go ahead and rotate this around like this. And so this is a, this is a fun little trick we could do. Right? We could, very simply, just lower the axe below the box. Right? We could do something like this. Um, and I may do a little bit of that. But I really want the way this axe to pop up. I don't want it to just like pop up, right? I want it to um, sort of unfold out of the box, right? Um, and pop up. So I am going to put it here, maybe roll it down just a little bit, and then curl this forward. This forward. And the head forward, and then go ahead and move this backward just a little bit. And if I can tumble around and see where I'm at, and a little bit more like that. And you'll see over here like the tip of it just poking out of the box just a little. So I can do something like this. Okay, this is where we're going to start talking about animation process. So I am going to um, animate all of these controls to control my axe. Right? If I want my axe to lean back, I can rotate it back like this, right? And I can animate all four of these. And keeping track of the keyframes on all four of those will get very confusing. So the way we're going to do this is the pose to pose method, which is we are going to select all four of those controls and set a keyframe on a frame for all four of them. And we're just going to do it as if we were doing drawings or poses of this axe. The reason we're talking about that right now is because it takes a little bit of time and it takes some meticulous clicking to go through here and you know try to select all of these and like maybe you like axe it. Like it looks like I have all four selected, but I don't. I just have the root selected. I could open up my outliner and select them all like this. That will select all four of them. But the difference in rotating just my root looks like that versus rotating all four of them looks like that. So I want to be able to grab all four of them and set keyframes on everything. And so just to show you this as a, a helpful little trick, we are going to use just a little bit of scripting to make ourselves a button. So I'm going to go to my custom tab up here. And I got a bunch of stuff in here. Yours is probably blank. And what I need to do is with this open, I'm going to also open up my Maya embedded language, like the script editor down here. So there's this little white box down here. And if I click on that, it'll open this up. And what I want you to notice is that every time I select something in here, a little piece of script files off, fires off there. So if I deselect it, select dash CL, that's clear selected. If I select the root control, select dash R root control, semicolon. All of these things, all of the actions I'm, ha I'm doing in Maya result in the script, okay? So if I wanted to select the head, deselect everything, I could copy this piece of script, control C, 
and this is a Mel script, so we have a Mel window and a Python window. I could paste that into the Mel window and hit Control Enter, and it'll select the head, right? Or I could paste it down here into this Mel window and hit Enter, and it'll select the head. So that piece of script allows us to do that action. So this is what allows us to automate some stuff and it also allows us to build um, a, a button that will select all four of these controllers for us. So what I'm going to do is say edit and then clear all and that just clears all of this out and then one at a time I'm going to hold control over here in my outliner and just select each of these controls. So control head spine select all four of them. So, this little piece of script right here will select all four of my controls. Once I have that, I can highlight that and click this button right here, and this will save the script to the shelf. And so since I have my custom shelf open and I click that button, I can now say, um, let's just say Axe All and hit OK. And it's a mail script, so I say mail. So now there's a button up here that says Axe All. And whenever I click that button, it selects the entire axe. So that's really useful. We have our character in the first pose here. I'm just going to go ahead and hit S to freeze that. And now we have our first key pose on all of the controls. And if I deselect something or I adjust it or whatever, I can always go back here and select this to reselect that and undo what I just did there.